For, for many people, Paris was not the end of a process, of a long negotiation process, but, but a moment in time, or even the beginning of something, the beginning of the international community really starting to tackle climate change. Canada being part of that international community, we, we made some commitments in, in Paris, and now we're back home, and we have to figure out how are we going to do this? How are we going to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions? How are we going to shift our economy from, a, from an economy that's very carbon intensive to an economy that that doesn't emit as much, as much greenhouse gas pollution, where where we put more emphasis on our on the well-being of our of our communities through, through changing the way we do things, transport ourselves, the way we produce energy. How, how do we how do, how do we create a, a better place for for our kids and, and grandkids? And that's the challenge we're, we're faced with. There's a lot of there's a lot of willingness in Canada now to, to, to do this and, and both in the private sector and then governments, provincial governments, territorial government, the federal government, but now the real challenge is making it happen, is, is actually coming up with a plan and then implementing it. I think that, I mean, we have a moral obligation to do that. We, you know, climate change was created by people in Canada and the US and Europe and it wasn't created by people in Africa or South America or even the Chinese or the Indians. Like we created that problem. So we have a responsibility to, to, to show leadership, to do something about it, and, and we have to hurry up because the clock is ticking.